So something that shows up in classes is you'll get something like x to the zero. And your teacher will say x to the zero equals one. Or maybe it's a number three to the zero, or really anything you want. You can make it as complicated as you like. All of these things all equal one. And a good question is why? Why does that equal one? Did someone just decide that's what it's going to be? And the answer is no. We can show that it has to equal one. So the easy way to see this is just to start out by taking whatever number it is, let's say we're doing x, and write x over x. Well, of course, we know x over x is just 1. But another way we could write this, right, is this is x to the 1 power over x to the 1 power. And if we're dividing two variables, we can go ahead and just subtract their powers, the 1 on top minus the 1 on bottom. And of course, 1 minus 1 is zero. So there you go. We just showed that x to the zero equals one. So there we did it for x. Let's go ahead and do it again for three, just to show that it works exactly the same way. So three over three, that obviously equals one. On the other hand, I can write that as three to the one power over three to the one power. And then I can take the top power minus the bottom power, which gives me three to the zero. And at this point, it should be clear that there's nothing special about x or 3. I could put whatever I want there, and that would work. Except the one exception to this rule is 0. So 0 to the 0 does not equal 1. In fact, 0 to the 0 is undefined, which is just a way of saying that we can't say it equals any number. It equals no number. So let's see why that's the case. So we start out the same. We do 0 over 0. The problem is, you remember from your classes that you cannot divide by 0. So 0 over 0 not only does not equal 1, it doesn't equal any number. It's undefined. So already we're stuck, and we can't do the same process. So this is why 0 to the 0 is not equal to 1. I hope that helps. And if you have any questions or things you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to post a comment below, and I'll be sure to get to those. Thanks, and have a good one.